folks, this is Ken Graham from San Angelo Standard Times. The outflow boundary uh, associated with a storm just hit my location and we went from dead calm to uh, 30 mile per hour, uh, 28 mile per hour sustained winds with a gust of 35. If you can see in this area here, this is a dust wall cloud uh, that's associated with this wind that's coming this way. Uh, right there is another another pretty good sized uh, dust cloud and then over the horizon right here you can see dust uh, kicking up quite a bit uh, if you're on the lake uh, on any of the lakes uh, I would highly recommend that you uh, head in right now uh, wind is coming your way and there's some lightning strikes um, Yeah, not a whole lot of dust right here in the, where I'm at, uh, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is coming directly my way, if it's going to sk uh, skirt to the east, uh, to the west a little bit there. All right, again, we got uh, sustained winds in my area right now of uh, 28, 29 miles per hour. You can see. Uh, in the horizon there here's a dust cloud here another one here here and then all to the north area uh, a lot of dust kicked up with this i did see some mattis clouds earlier uh, i don't see them now in this area here we have a single solitary cell that's trying to kick up um, Mainly the, the, the main system is uh, to our north uh, east a little bit. Uh, this is all going to head towards uh, Wall and Miles area. And it could impact uh, Grape Creek uh, and the northeastern parts of San Angelo. All right, it's uh, kicking up a little bit uh, more now. We'll go uh, get a wind reading here. Okay, right now, sustained winds. Uh, probably in the 20 mile per hour range. Yeah, 13, 16. All right. And yeah, we'll be able to get an average on that after a while. Yeah, the initial... Uh, the initial outflows. Okay, I hit a button on my phone. I thought I'd just cut you off. Okay, if you can see, this is, this is a really large dust cloud that is kicked up. And from this area over here, all the way over here, and then it really grows here. So if you're on the eastern parts of San Angelo, uh, uh, northeast stuff, uh, you're going to get, uh, th this is coming your way. Ooh, that was a huge lightning strike uh, right there. And I still haven't been able to hear the lightning, so that tells me that it's still quite a bit, quite a ways away. thing has 
has really kicked up. That's got to be several hundred feet high right now. So that's a significant dust cloud uh, that's coming your way. And right here, you can see where the rain, the rain is going to start. The uh, outflow boundary has already come through. And so now we're going to get the main parts of the storm. And if I start hearing thunder and it starts getting a little too close, I'm going to bug out. All right, that, oh, all right, that's a pretty good little gust. Wow, there's a little peak on this thing. That is a lot of dirt in the air. Normally the hills back in this area I can see fairly clearly and they're, uh, I, I can only see just a little part of them right, right there. They're uh, obscured now by the dirt and the rain. only imagine what this looks like on radar. Uh, National Weather Service is going to have to come in and help us out to see if they can track this dirt on the radar. That would be an interesting thing to see. All right, right now I'm on Mercedes Road. Uh, if you happen to be a weather observer or a photographer, this is a great place to be to be able to see uh, from north to west San Angelo for any sky observations. It's very unobstructed looking out over the uh, San Angelo State Park. Anyway, if you saw the radar images on Facebook, uh, the little blue, uh, it looks like a, a, bull, a bullseye is uh, the location of where I'm at right now. And there's some flock of birds going by trying to outrun. Let me see if I can get a uh, current reading on the wind. All right, we have sustained winds of 20, 21 miles per hour. Uh, Sustain to 20. If you're in eastern San Angelo, this has got to be affecting you in, the, in that part of the area. Uh, love to see some photographs and let us know what's going on for you. And I felt my first rain drop. Uh, we have a nice rain shaft that is formed right here. Uh, you can see that that's starting to develop straight down. And looking to my west. still in this area. And now a very well defined rain shaft has developed uh, and that is headed uh, straight for me uh, where I'm at right now. Okay. The dust cloud is making its way across the city uh, if you can see that. 
and then we have another rain shaft developing right here okay that dust cloud uh, just using my best estimates which is that's making its way across the city. You see it, it's over here now. We have more here. This is all moving that direction. This is moving that way. This all is coming straight to me. We have a tree branch over here that is about to take flight. There's a rain, uh, a little bit of rain coming here. Still a little bit of dust. Uh, this area has really kicked up uh, for some wind and some rain. Uh, you, you can see the defined shelf. Another rain shelf. The big one that is right there that's coming to me and starting to get me wet. And the rain is now about upon me. System, the big one is in this area. You saw the lightning strike right there. Big rain shaft, another rain shaft, large one there, another one there. And okay, that direction is, is straight east. And so looking, I'm sorry, straight west, the other east. And then looking to the southwest, you see another little rain shaft, and uh, then a little bit of the rain. Uh, that's being blown by the outflow boundary winds. So with that, uh, I, wow. This is what the uh, dust storm is turning into. Straight south. That is huge. It's starting to pick up. Uh, Alright, I'm going to retreat to the safety of my truck. The rain is starting to pretty good and so we'll uh, stay informed we'll be watching this if you are on a lake uh, you need to be off the lake right now uh, if you're outside you need to find somewhere to ride this out this is all coming your way uh, it hasn't already hit uh, so anyway be careful out there guys uh, stay safe this is Ken Graham from San Angelo Standard Time signing off